Hello everybody, I'm Ernest. We're here at the ranch today and we're going to be doing a little demonstration between the 223-556 and the 762 by 39 So here on the table I've been shooting the AR shotgun and the AR-223 pistol. I've got my long range AR-556. I've got my general purpose AR-6. Uh, AR-15, I've got a 22 long range, uh, long right, long rifle pistol and a, and a rifle here, but we're going to be using this AK and I'm just going to be demonstrating or doing a little demonstration was most of y'all would probably figure out who has the most kick and the most power in this match and, um, Going to shoot some items to show the difference between the 223 and the 7.62 by 39. Not if that there hasn't been a, a million videos done like this, but this is my version. Okay, so I set up a bowling ball here. It's pretty chewed up, as you can probably see from the sides. I shot it with a buckshot earlier, uh, but I'm going to do a little experiment with the 223 and the 7.62 by 39. You see these remnants here? These are from a previous bowling ball. And so I kind of know how it's gonna go. There's, there's the aftermath of the last bowling balls. So I'm, I'm hoping I get the same results uh, as before and that the test doesn't end too soon. So anyway, so I'm gonna be right over here and I'm gonna get back, I don't know, that's 15 yards or so away. And then just start shooting. I'm going to shoot with the 223 first and then with the AK with the 7.62 by 39. Okay, because that did more damage than I thought it would do, but this bowling ball was already in rough shape. But, but the core is still intact. Uh, but you can see what it did to this bowling ball. Uh, and um, the last time I shot a 223 at a bowling ball was on a complete one that wasn't damaged like this one was. I mean, this is an old bowling ball, but still. Uh, so it already had some damage on it from the buckshots and that's probably what caused it to do all this uh, damage. But anyway, so let me put the AK and it should show a dramatic difference in the uh, 30 round caliber. Okay, so you can see how much quicker the, the bowling ball destroyed. On the other, on the previous one that I did, I don't know, six, seven months ago, that there in the background, I shot it like 18 times with a 223, and it only took like one or two shots for that bowling ball on a 7.62 to completely uh, split in two. But that's all that's left of the bowling ball. It's kind of spread out, spread all over the place. But anyway, that's an example of of what of how much more stopping power, blunt force that a 30 pick caliber has over a 22. Well, this was just a short video on uh, on the differences. Now here I'm using the AK to shoot the 7.62 by uh, 39. But 
I have an AR that will shoot it too, just as well. As a matter of fact, it's probably a little bit more accurate than the AK, I think. I'm not sure. I prefer the AK platform. This one here has an 18-inch barrel and an 18-power scope, stainless steel, Bear Creek Arsenal. This is a Ruger 5.56 lower. Um, and and I can shoot the 7.62 by 39 in this AR. I can shoot the 223. I can shoot what 6.5 Grindel uh, or um, 300 Blackout. All those things. Very versatile gun. You can just switch them around any way you want. Make it. This one here is set up for more long range stuff. Um, <clears throat> but <coughs> that's why the AR is probably the most popular rifle in the United States because of its versatility but I do like the the AK um, but just to just to uh, let you know that you can make the AR shoot the same round um, but I just like to shoot them because they are just excellent firearm <clears throat> Some say it's not as accurate as a as an AR. I would have to agree on the most part. It's not as accurate. Uh, <coughs> and a 30 caliber 7.62 39 doesn't have the range uh, as 223. <coughs> Man, something got in my throat. So anyway, <coughs> just like everything else, there's there's uh, pluses and minus to everything. The 30 caliber <coughs> has more stopping power. <clears throat> Sorry about my throat. And the 223 has the speed and the accuracy and the longer range than you get. In some states, you're not even allowed to use a 22 caliber, which is the AR, uh, in a in a 556 or 223 because you have to use at least a 30 caliber. And if you got the upper for it to shoot the 30 caliber, like the 300 blackout, 72.6 by 39 you can use those in those states that require a 30 caliber to go hunting as you can see if you don't hit the animal correctly with a 223 it's going to run off <clears throat> and it might die a day later or it's a, it's just a uh, less humane way to, to uh, dispatch an animal on the uh, on the th on the 30 caliber it's it's pretty much going to kill them pretty quick but you have a shorter range uh, to shoot them at with this particular 30 caliber you know if you get a 30 out six and all those high powered rounds these are these are um, intermediate rounds so they're not a full powered um, rifle round like a 308 and so on but they will this is a good I mean 200 yards I'm pretty accurate with my AR that has a 7.62 by 39. I don't know how accurate the AK is because I just got a red dot on it and I don't feel like it's it's very accurate at those ranges. Well, at least with me, you know. So anyway, just a little demonstration, just, just a little fun. I haven't made a video in a little bit and uh, so I was trying to think of, you know, of what else to to make a video on because I I shot the shotguns today uh, and other firearms and I found out their shortcomings and and some of them that are working uh, uh, very well. So anyway, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.